three years ago, Jordan asked what I wanted for my birthday. I wanted a chance to do something really challenging and a little scary. So we ended up at Grandfather Mountain. Unfortunately, we only made it halfway to the peak. The next year we came back, camped out, and reached the peak from a different route. Keeping up with the tradition, I'm back. And I'm determined to hike Grandfather Trail to the top of Callaway, like we tried to do our first time here. But first, I'm gonna need to finish my coffee. Hugh Morton, the inheritor of Grandfather Mountain and founder of the attraction, thought by putting a 40-person limit sign, it would ease visitors' minds about crossing the bridge. Of course, it could hold more than that, but the idea was if they saw the sign and could count a couple dozen other people on it, they wouldn't be as scared. For most folks, setting foot on this thing is all the daring adventure they can take in a day. And for others, it's only the beginning. You know that old prank of putting a cow on the top floor of a building? The myth is the cow can go up all those stairs, but you can't get it back down. At least, not voluntarily. I know, it's not flattering comparing yourself to a cow, but I'm kind of the same way. I can climb up this stuff all day. It's Getting back down, that's the problem. Something about it just bothers me.
don't get me wrong. I'll make it back down eventually, just at the pace of a very stubborn bovine. <sighs> And this is where we turned around that first year. In hindsight, it's a good thing we did. There's no way we could have handled what was next with that leather. So with no idea what other crazy obstacles were standing between me and the peak, everything after this felt like completely uncharted territory. The couple I met at the summit were a total godsend, giving me the best piece of advice. Take Underwood Trail on the way back and you can skip nine of those ladders. Boy, am I glad I listened. That return trip flew by. I have no doubt I could see Grandfather Mountain a hundred more times and still be amazed. 
what they say is true. Here, wonders never cease. If you're wondering, where was Jordan in all of this? Well, he's a pretty busy guy. But not to worry, we'll still celebrate with a backpacking trip. I've got something pretty wild in mind.